Today's topic is candidiasis. Candidiasis is a yeast infection brought about by the fungus candida that lives in the human body. Over 20 different candida can cause infection, but the most common is the candida albicans. This fungus is present in small amounts in our body without causing harm. They can be found in places like our mouth and belly, on the skin, and in case of women, in the vagina. In a suitable environment, the yeast can outgrow and multiply uncontrollably, causing pain and inflammation. There are different types of candidiasis. The spread of the candida yeast in the mouth and throat leads to a condition called thrush or oropharyngeal candidiasis. It is the most common fungal infection of the mouth. It is prevalent in people with weakened immune systems. Conditions that lead to a weak immune system are diabetes, cancer, HIV, and AIDS. When the yeast spreads in the genitals, it is referred to as a genital yeast infection. Women are more affected by the genital yeast infection than men. The genital yeast infection affects three out of four adult women. When the yeast enters the bloodstream and spreads to other parts of the body, such as the kidney, spleen, bones, muscles, joints, or eyes, it is called invasive candidiasis. Causes A number of factors can increase the possibilities of yeast growing out of proportion. They are Overuse of antibiotics Obesity Pregnancy Stress Diabetes Nutrient deficiency Cancer treatment HIV or AIDS Hormone replacement therapy Infertility treatments Lack of sleep Symptoms Symptoms of thrush include redness or soreness in the mouth and throat, cracking at the corners of the mouth, pain when swallowing, white or yellow patches on the tongue, the roof of the mouth, and inner cheek. Symptoms of genital yeast infection, extreme itchiness in the vagina, discomfort during sex, pain and burning during urination, rash, a thick, white, odorless cottage cheese-like discharge. In men, the tip of the penis may be red, swollen, and painful. Diagnosis Your doctor may review your medical history and ask questions about recent diet and medications that may weaken your immune system. The diagnosis usually depends on skin sampling. Skin scrapings from the affected area are taken and mounted on a slide for examination. Once candidiasis is confirmed, the underlying cause is addressed. This may include managing your weight if you are overweight, managing your diabetes if you suffer from it, or living a hygienic lifestyle. A pelvic examination may be required where the doctor examines your vaginal walls and cervix and also looks at the surrounding areas for signs of external infection. Treatment Antifungal medications are used in treating candidiasis. The types of antifungal medications used are chlortrimazole, Nystatin, fluconazole, voriconazole. For vaginal yeasts, antifungal medications may be administered either directly into the vagina as creams, ointments, or administered by mouth. For infection caused by pregnancy, topical imidazole or triazole are recommended. For oral thrush, an antifungal suspension is swished in the mouth and swallowed. In candida infection of the blood, amphotericin B or echinocandin, such as caspofungin, may be administered. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.